Hi, I'm John Tope, and welcome to Introduction to Watch Repair. This course will include many aspects of watch repair, watch restoration, technical information, nomenclature, comparisons, features, adjusting, troubleshooting, and generally how things work. With practice, you'll acquire the skills for handling tiny parts of a watch, and you will no longer notice that they are so tiny. You can start with a few tools, and as your interest grows, other tools can be added. In the beginning, parts for watches were handmade by watchmakers. No two watches were alike, and replacement parts would need to be made by hand. In the middle of the 19th century, which is about the time of the Industrial Revolution, American mass-produced factory watches created a more standardization and uniformity. The watch movement became a standard piece of machinery. Most watches have the same number of wheels, springs, and other parts in an engineered uniform pattern. Each part can be found in its corresponding place for its individual purpose. Therefore, watch parts manufactured by different companies vary slightly from a similar part of another watch manufacturer. Generally, the differences are variations of similar parts with minor details that mostly vary in size. I collect clocks, watches, tools, and other horological books. There are many new tools and books available to you if you know where to look, and many that are no longer manufactured or printed that can still be found if you know where to look. Where to find all these things will be revealed in this course. When people start collecting watches, they generally buy what is readily available. Elgin and Waltham pocket watches are inexpensive and a good place to start. You can become more selective and maybe even more specialized as your knowledge grows. Begin with your watch repair learning process with the cheaper watches. Practice on watches that work and maybe some that don't. You should learn how to take apart a watch, put it back together, and it should still run. If you try this with a non-working watch, you don't know if you were successful. Watches that do not work are generally good for tinkering or practicing with various repairs that you don't feel confident yet enough to perform on a working watch. Some repairs take a little skill to master. You don't want to experiment on a working watch and break or damage something in the process. Start with watches that tell the time and nothing else. Anything else is too complicated for the beginner.